guys, Cakenums here. This is how to easily and efficiently complete all New Year's quests. In this video, I'm going to share some tips and tricks I found very useful to avoid getting stuck and could definitely save you a lot of time. Stick around for a special surprise at the end of this video. When this update came out, I streamed myself getting these quests, which reasonably took around a few hours. So if you guys weren't able to finish the quests, and get some parts of the set, I will be doing a 35k sub giveaway. I'll be giving away this popstar set right here, and you guys can simply enter by commenting your username down below, hitting the like button, and subscribe. We'll be starting off with is the bag quest, or the Vianchi quest. And what you have to do is come over here to Vianchi and accept her quest, and you have to find 35 bags hidden around the map. So while I'm finding the bags, I'm going to be grabbing this chest just to let you guys know that there is a chest hidden in this corner right over here. So along with going over all the bags and everything, I will also be showing the chest locations that are hidden in the sewer and also right over here. And this chest will give you a 2021 party hat.
if you guys still have some bags remaining because you know everyone's quest is different you can of course take a look at more of these possibilities where the bags will actually spawn and i will also give general locations where the bags usually are bag quest i will be going on to jam jam Jew's bunny quest i'll be giving a few pointers and tips on how you can actually find them so what you need to do is stay close to the floor and look at it from a flat perspective quickly get as many bunnies as you can right off the bat at the start make sure you do keep an eye out for some glowing dots on the road you can see how they're glowing and the difficult part about jam jam Jew's quest is that sometimes these bunnies can actually disappear and no clip into the walls or into the little snowy hill inside the park if you aren't able to find any of these bunnies and you're just stuck there at the last one or last few then just wait a while and come back to it because I can't stress this enough uh, these bunnies will actually spawn also make sure you do check the roads because the roads are the most common place for the bunnies to spawn especially in this location 
so one tip I have is just circle around the park and the roads and you will be able to find the last few bunnies that you are missing. This quest does take a while, especially if you are on your last few bunnies. So don't stress too much about it. Wait a while and come back after a bit and you will see that the bunny is hidden on the road or sidewalk. And for me, it is this brand bunny right over here on the sidewalk. Now we have completed Jam Jam Ju's buddy quest. Let's return to her and start our next one. For the next quest, we'll be going over here to this building where Iron Claw, Callan, and Ice are. So here are the scripters of Royal High, and this is their scripter quiz or the scripter quest. All you need to do is click on them and receive their quest. For this one, it is definitely one of the easiest quests to complete. So if you just want to do this right off the bat, you can do that. So here are all the answers for the scripter quiz. The first question is what is the scripting language Roblox developers use to create games? Games. This one is Lua. What is the value of C? This one is 17. The next question is, what is the value of Z? This one is 2. What are loops used for in Lua? They are used to execute a piece of code repeatedly. What is the value of X? 9. What does this script do? creates a new part and assigns it to the workspace. What does script.parent mean? It refers to the parent of a Roblox Lua script. What is a property in Lua? It is something used to describe an object such as color, size, and more. Which of the following are not valid objects in Roblox Lua? Light trail. What does GUI stand for? Graphical user interface. Which of the following is not a valid service in Roblox? Rotation service. And now you've completed the quiz, so you just ram your head into the, I mean, your body into the wall, and you can teleport back out to get your prize. So now we just finished the quiz, and let's head over to the next one. So the next one we're gonna do is Choco's, which is the paint quest. For her quest, you need to find five paints that are scattered around the map, and I'll show you all the locations for this. First one is over here behind Comet Bob next to Spawn. This is the blue paint. And then you go over here to the pink paint. It is right here below the Friendship Drive sign. And then we come over here to the sewer and you open it up. And you follow this path, keep going straight Turn left, and then keep going straight. Keep following the path. And also, while you're doing this quest, I recommend to keep an eye out for these number letter combinations because those will be helpful in the next dog quest that we're gonna be doing soon. Up here, and here's the green paint. Now, all you need to do is reset. So now that you reset, come over here to the park and turn right. You will see a snowman with some white paint. And the last color is yellow, which is right over here next to the apartment store. So now if we return back to Choco, you can either choose to reset or I'm gonna fly back there like a slow noob. Now let's go and talk to Choco and congratulations, you won the Celestial Armlets. <coughs> Next quest we'll be doing is the dreaded seashell quest. I'll be giving a few pointers on where the seashells could be located if there's any seashells that I've gotten that are also in the same place for you. So a few places I like to check is behind these fences and in the trees area and they can definitely hide the beams that indicate where they are.
Some places that you would like to check is definitely in the sewer because I realized this after I collected my quest. There are some shells in the sewer that can't be spotted above ground. And what I mean by that is every shell has an indicator or a light beam that shows where it is located. And normally if it's in the sewer, it would stick out of the ground, right? But that's not the case for some shells. If you spend like hours checking the shells above ground and you still can't find any, it's definitely in the sewer. Some shells are super hidden in the sewer. That's the best place you can check if you can't find, absolutely cannot find any more above ground. Oh, and there's also another chest over here that you can collect for 2021 diamonds. That's a cute number. So here's a number letter combination. It's the one that we saw before, which is 4R. And also for this shell quest, I recommend doing this before the dog quest because while you're checking the sewer for your shells, you can also check around and see if there are any number letter combinations. And while you're finding the shells in the sewer, you can also take a look and see if there are any chests around. There are two chests in total in the sewer. And if you guys couldn't find the chest because I'm just going around finding shells because that's my priority, you can follow this clip that I'll be showing you guys. So I just found another number letter combination. And what you can do is take note of it in the chat. And we are going to be using these number letter combinations in the dog quest. Before we head on, here's a clip of the exact chest locations that you can find in a sewer. Luckily, these spots are always the same, so you guys can just follow this easy tutorial. We are going to be unlocking, of course, the sewer rat, the party hat for 2021, and also some diamonds that you can get out of a chest. The first chest that I'll be showing you guys is the one that contains the party hat for 2021. And right here, we are at spawn. So go over here. You should see a beautiful chest that's black and golden. It is right here in this little corner. So you just click it. We got the 2021 party hat. So here it is. Next up, I'm going to the chest containing diamonds. And what you need to do is go into this sewer, make sure it is this one. So if you see the shape of the road, you just follow this path. So I'm going to stop running so it's easier to follow. So that is the opening and we just came down this area and now I'm going straight. Keep following this straight path until you see this dent and then you turn left or this path and then you keep going straight follow the path and then go right and here is a chest. We'll unlock 2021 diamonds. I just realized that it actually forms out 2021. That's really cool. So once you get the 2021 chest and you want to get Remy the rat, I suggest you reset. So for anyone that wants to start over and just get the rat, um, the only one that they're missing is the rats, then this is how you get the sewer rat. You just click this open and you hop down there again and then you follow this path. So instead of turning left this time, you just keep going straight and then this way and then this way. And then once you get here, you turn right and then you turn right again and you go straight and then you go to this path and left and it should be right here. Click open the chest, you will get Remy the rat in your inventory. So you found a magical chest with a sewer rat inside just for you. This is one of the best accessories in my opinion. And it's also free guys. You can roam the sewers with your rat friends and all that. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Once you have equipped this rat, I just wanted to say that in order to get rid of your upper body, just take take out any accessories that you have equipped so let's x all that out and you also need to take off your hairstyle so take that off take any hairstyle off 
and make sure that your face is set to this invisible face that someone made so you can actually have no face voila you can become a full-on rat and to top it off we're going to name ourselves remy the rat Okay, now we just completed the shell quest and we're on our way to the dog quest over here where Comet Bob is. So you click them and they will give you this dog quest. So the first dog is located on the moon. The second dog is located behind this alleyway and what you can do is go in this little hole behind the building. It is hiding right over here behind these models. The next dog you will find is the one that you would need the codes to get to or the password. Here's the friendship drive sewer that we'll be going into. You have to follow this path right over here. Just keep going straight. Go this way. And then go this way. And then keep going forward and you will see there's a drop down. So remember the number letter combinations that I was talking about earlier? You actually have to use those for the password. And once you find all four of them, you can put them together to create a password. So you would need to find all four number letter combinations hidden around the sewer and they can spawn randomly and it is different for everyone. So that means everyone's password is different. In order to put all the number letter combinations together to create a password, in my example, 1C means C is the first letter, 2B means B is the second letter, 3D means D is the third letter, and 4R means R is the fourth letter. So once I put all those together, I will get C, B, D, R, and that is my password to open this door. I have more information on how to get the password in another video of mine. Click the icon on the top right and check out this video on how to get the dog quest. So the last puppy is behind Comey Bob. So what you need to do is reset. Here it is, the last pupper, right behind Comey Bob. Once you've completed this quest, you will get a pop star corset. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you found this video helpful with getting all of your quests. Hopefully it wasn't too frustrating completing some of the more difficult quests. But if you guys are still stuck on it, do not worry because I'm hosting a pop star set giveaway. So if you want to enter, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, comment your username down below in the comment section, and ring that notification bell so you will know when the winner is announced. And for those of you that don't know, I gave away the Royal Rebel set and this time Winter Guardian set. And I will continue to be giving away more sets in the future. So make sure you do subscribe to participate in more upcoming sets that will be coming to Royal High, especially on Valentine's Day. Congratulations, you are the winner of the Winter Guardian set giveaway. So I'm going to be announcing that on the community wall on my channel. Now, the next real question is, who is gonna win the pop star set? Stay tuned to find out. Hit the subscribe button right now and let's get to 35K subs so we can announce the giveaway winner for the pop star set. That is all for today, guys. I hope you found this tutorial helpful on getting all of these quests and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye! Kite Kaloom's out.